Why do you need consistent branding? As we know um, what a brand is, branding is the process of putting those things out there so that people can accept and co-sign your vision and make you a brand. Why is it consistent? Well, it creates a connection with your audience that encourages sales and pur purchases. The more you show up, like I said before, they tell you if you build it, they will come, but if you brand it, they will know. Your audience cannot buy what they don't know about. Consistency shows you in a place of leadership. It shows credibility and it also shows them when they keep seeing it and it's branded in their head. Like, you know what? Let me just try this out. So let's go to the next one. It keeps you grounded to your values and personality of your brand, right? And your business. So when you're constantly putting out those components, you're not just like I told the gentleman before, reinforcing that calendar into his head. You're not just putting it out there for them, but it keeps you grounded in that. The more you say it, the more that you mean it, the more that you mean it, the more you put that energy out, the more you put that energy out, the more the universe and society can communicate what you're trying to tell them. So it keeps you very present in that intention. When you constantly put that out there, it's like I said what I said and I keep saying it. Branding, branding versus marketing. So like people sometimes think that um, branding and marketing is the same thing. Branding is building up those DNA traits, those components to market. So the branding is why I do what I do, what this is, what my brand's voice is, what my colors are, what the culture of it is. Marketing is how we gonna get this out here now. How are people gonna know that these things exist? How are people going to experience this, th th you know, this brand experience? Um, branding is long term. I told you guys that it's questionably the most important part of business because it's something that lives through the whole duration of your company's life, right? You got to keep branding. You got to keep showing the hows and you got to keep showing up that way. Marketing is short term. You have a marketing plan. It stops for a while and then you build up another marketing plan and then that stops for a while. Branding um, builds loyalty. For one of the ways you do that, like I said, is the uh, making your backstory the making your um, backstory the backbone of your company. That builds loyalty. It fosters emotional connections, as well as I said before, builds uh, credibility. Because when people keep showing, see you showing up in that same way over and over, it's like okay. They said it once, they said it twice, they said it 30, okay, I, I get what they're saying. They are who they say they are. So people will become loyal, loyal to that. Whereas marketing generates responses. So you can market something and maybe they'll click on it, but they they don't know you until you constantly brand to them and then now they're loyal to you and they, they, they've they accepted your brand. But marketing is that hook to, re to reel them in so that you can continue to brand to them. Branding creates value. So when we speak about brand value, which I mentioned before, some people think that that's pricing. Pricing and brand value is two different things. The price of something can be $10. Let's use the pandemic, right? We know hand sanitizer was as low as 99 cents for a little bottle. The brand value went up during the pandemic. That same 99 cents bottle was $27 in some places. So your brand value is not the price of your product, but it's what people will pay for it. And you can raise that in a, a, a different fa a, a whole bunch of different ways. Like there's tons of ways that you can raise your brand value. Whereas marketing extracts that, that value. So it puts it out there so people can know what that value is. So people gotta pay into your vision. That's where branding you comes into place. What is your vision? What am I getting different from your bags that I'm getting from other people? What is your process looking like? What are the materials looking like? What is the, 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 the stress that you're going through to get this to me so that I can have that brand experience? All of that is the value. Show it to us. You see what I'm saying? If you build it, it will come. But if you, if you, if you show it, they, they, it will brand. You feel me? Those are the things people want to see you go through because that also creates that emotional Forced to like, damn, I seen how she went down there. She thought about this bag and what she went through to get us this bag and the materials for this bag and why this bag, like looking at your style, how you put together, let, giving me that so that that can add to my confidence. That has a value. So keep showing up that way. Put things together that has nothing to do with your bags. Just show how I style. Not only do I show you how to style, but I've created this for you. You're welcome. You know, like you got to show up that way with not to say to be cocky, but to show people like I care and I cared about you so much. I've created this for you, but you got to constantly show it.
over and over and over. And when the prices go up, sometimes it could be in shipping. Sometimes it could be it could be in shipping. It could be materials have gone up. You talk to your, your, your they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They saw the, the hand sanitizer go from one dollar to twenty seven dollars. You know, we're in a state right now and to keep giving you guys the same quality without declining on the experience. I got to put my sales up because I don't want to, I don't want to lose credibility in your eyes and I don't want to compromise my brand and say, girl, use words like that. Let them know. So you're going to pay extra for this bag, even though it's the same bag. But listen, what it got, what the, the process to get this bag to you has changed. So the price has gone up, but I'm still fighting to make sure I get the same quality for you guys. So rock with me. Three steps to building your brand. One is defining your, your values and that's a part of your backstory. Um, but your, your values are also like not who you are, but who you aren't, right? There's a lot of times that you see companies sign someone and they may, they may be pro BIPOC, right? So they want to support some minority, minorities. So that's who you are, right? And then that same person may turn around and catch like a domestic violence case. So they got to drop that person. So that's who you are not. It's one thing to show who you are, but it's also to say this is who we, you know, this is this isn't who we are. So you got to define those values on how they align. Those values are important because they go through the whole company. It's in your customer service. It's in your policies. It's in your branding content. That value has to be consistent through everything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Stay tuned for my next video.